Hello students. So now we are going to um, look at the suggested solutions for exercise 3A. Now first thing to note is that this is a chapter on approximation and uh, one of the very important thing about approximation is when we round off a number to a certain degree of accuracy, it is necessary to actually um, show or let everyone know uh, what is the degree of accuracy. So in this case, right, we are told to actually round off the following numbers to a certain number of significant figures. Now, after we round off in, in our presentation, we should okay, always actually specify the um, number of significant figures in brackets. So let me just show you how it's done. Okay, so for example, the first one, we have 7, 2, 8. And when we round this off to two significant figures, which is 7, 3, 0, now, obviously, when I leave the, the presentation like this, there's an issue, right? Because 728 is definitely not equals to 730. Therefore, we should have a bracket here and let everyone know that this is rounded off or corrected to two significant figures. So we repeat this process for the rest as well. So 503.98. When we round this off to um, four significant figures, it will be 50. Uh, 4.0 right so take note okay it is possible for the very last digit here okay to be zero because it is actually significant we actually round off the 3.9 up to 4.0 okay at this area here at this portion here right we round it up so of course that's not done we still need to indicate that this is four significant figures okay so part c we have a lot of decimal places here, 0 0.00030195. Okay. Similarly, when we round this off to four significant figures, right? So we start the first significant figure actually start from three. So three, zero. Now the one nine we round up to two zero. And therefore that's how it will look like. Four significant figures. But D, we have six three nine six. Now six three nine six, okay. Two significant figures will be 6, 4, but we need the zero at the back as placeholders, right? So this is two, two, two significant figures. And then uh, three significant figures, it actually looks the same. But of course, what's different is that the two zeros there, one of it is not significant, the other is still the placeholder. So three significant figures here. Okay, now going on, part E. Part E, we have 9.9999. Where we round this off to three significant figures, it will be 10.0, right? So one, two, three. Three significant figures. And finally, for part F, we have 8.004. Three significant figures, it will be 8.00. Three significant figures. Right? I hope you have been successful. So let us move on to the next type of question. Now, of course, it is not always two significant figures. You could round off to a certain degree of accuracy as specified by the question itself. So in this case, right, 4.918 meters, when you round off to the nearest 0 0.1 meters, that is actually another way of saying one decimal place. So in this case, it will be 4.9 meters, one decimal place. Please indicate, right? So uh, next we have, okay, wait. Let me take that back. Okay, uh, we should in our presentation follow whatever is written in the uh, question. You'll be better, right? Answer to the question. So I will write nearest 0 0.1 meters over here. Okay, so for part B, we have 9.71 centimeter to the nearest centimeter that will be actually 10, right? So uh, the units is cm, nearest cm. Okay, part C, we have 10.982 dollars now they want it to the nearest 10 cent the nearest 10 cent is actually over here this is the 10 cent right so that's where we want to actually round off it round off two so in this case of course the nine gets to round up so it becomes 11.0 right this one is the nearest 10 cent finally part d we have 6.489 kilogram. 6.49 kilogram to the nearest one over 100 kilogram. Now, uh, let me write it down. 1 over 100 is actually the same as 0 0.01. So what this means is actually two decimal places. 
So two decimal places, this will be 6.49 okay, kilogram, right? Nearest, 1 over 100 kilogram. Okay, next question. Well, the floor area of Changi Airport Terminal 4 is stated as this value and the value is rounded off to five significant figures. So what is the largest and smallest possible value? So the largest is easy, right? With largest. So let's write out the context. Largest value is equals to 225004, um, zero, zero, right? Take note because there's five, signific uh, five significant figures. So one, two, three, four, five. These are significant, so I keep them, right? So I, the next integer I can put is actually four and it gets round down. Now the lowest or the smallest possible value, okay, works like this. This time round, okay, we are going to put two, two, but instead of 500, right, 500, zero, zero, I'm going to put 499 because I know it's going to get rounded up. And how to get it to round up? We add a 5. So that's actually the solution for question 11, right? I believe there's one more question I ask you to try. Here we go. Yi Hao, right? Yi Hao says that 26.97 is equal to 27 when rounded off to one decimal place because he thinks that 27.0 is the same as 27. Do you agree? No, right? No, because 27.0 is three significant figures. 27, okay? So we can say, therefore, the range of values, okay, are from, okay, so here is actually from 27, sorry, 26. 26.95 to 27.05, right? This is the range of possible values. However, okay, right? Okay, but, come on, my paper pencil. But 27 is two significant figures. The range of values are from, right? So if it's 27, it, it, the range of value is actually 26.5 to uh, 27.5. So it is quite different, right? So, yep, you, from here, you can actually show that they are different. So they are not the same. Okay, I hope you have been successful. So uh, check your work, do your necessary corrections. And if you made any mistakes, let's learn from them. All right, have a nice day.